should play with closed stance, with open stance, and you have also semi-open. And according to the ball, you should decide what is the right footwork for each type of ball. When the ball is coming low, you should use the closed stance, because the ball is low and you can use your body weight against the ball. And now, let's say the ball is going to your side. What you can do is to run to the side and use your open stance. Because the ball is going to the side, you are moving and you don't lose time going with your foot forward to play the ball. It's much easier. Now, let's say the ball is coming low and deep. Should you play with closed stance? And the right answer is probably not, because it's the, the ball is coming too fast and low, you don't have time. So if the ball is coming too fast and low, you have time only to open and play. And this is another kind of footwork. This is the basic, basic footwork to play tennis. Of course, you have a lot of variations, but now for you to understand, you really need to know that lower balls and a little bit further, you should use the close stance. And when you move to the side, and when the ball is coming deep, you should use the open stance. It's important to highlight also that when you play with open stance, you can hide a little bit more what you're gonna do, and you can open more the angle or play down the line. When you play with close stance, probably you're gonna play down the line, or if you go a little bit further, you can open the court, but it's easier to play the down the line, and with open stance, it's easier to hide your shot to your opponent, which can be a big advantage for you in the competition. And now the question is, which footwork should you learn to start? Should you play with open stance or should you play with closed stance? And the, the answer is really simple. You should play with closed stance because when you start playing tennis, the main thing is to be lateral and not to open the body. And when you play with closed stance, this footwork here, you tend to open more your body because you are not prepared, you are not used to the tennis, so you're gonna do a lot of these mistakes. And to avoid, it's much simple to start with closed stance and start to use your body weight on the ball. It's much easier, much simple, and you need to start from the basics. Remember, there are no elevators to success. You need to climb all the steps until the top, and you need to understand the whole process to play better in the higher level. Also, it's really important, never compare yourself with a professional player or with a more advanced player, because they already know how to play, they do different things, and they don't remember what they did when they were beginners. From the beginning, you need to learn all the process, you need to learn all the, all the little steps. One easy example is, for example, when you start learning, we always say to answer the phone or listen to watch here, and later when you play better, of course you're not going to answer the phone or listen to watch all the time, you don't have time, sometimes you just finish here, you have another priority. So just to remember once again, lower balls and short balls, you should play with close stance, like this, okay? And you can use your body weight, and when they play deep balls and to the side, you should use your open stance. Like this. This is really important for you to understand, and the basics are that. Also, remember, the ball, when the ball is higher, open stance, when the ball is short, close stance.